all right so now that you know what a database management software is an example of a database management software that we are going to be using in this tutorial is microsoft access microsoft access is a series of applications from the microsoft company now microsoft access provides or gives you options such as tables queries forms and etc that will help you to create and analyze or update your database so let's begin by creating our database and to create our database we are going to open access and then create a table so this video is going to be about creating a table all right so let's get straight to it first of all we are going to open access from our start menu so you can just go and search for access and then when it opens you are going to see the home um, screen the welcome screen so what we are going to do here is create our database from scratch okay we are going to create our database from scratch all right so let's go ahead and click on the blank database um template all right you see that it is asking you to create a new file name for your database so let's go ahead and create a new file name for our database so i'm going to name this student okay and then we are going to click on create now when it comes you see that already access has given you has created a table for you so what i'm going to do is close down this table and then show you how to create the same table all right so i'm going to show you how you can create a table from scratch all right so the thing we should do next is we should all go to create so you can see create on the ribbon um beside home in between home and external data so you just come here and click create now go to tables over here and click on tables so now you can see that a table has been created for you so to input your information now the next thing we can do here is to change the table name now before we can change the table name we will first have to save our table in order to save the table there are two ways to do it first you can come to the save button here or you can use the shortcut control plus s so you just you just put your finger on control and then put your finger on s also whilst you are about to save your table the table might ask you to change the name or rename the table so let's see what we have here so i want to change the table name there are ways you can do it so first you can go to save the table first now when you save the table it is asking you to change the table name now this prompt this prompt asking you to change the table name can be ignored but you can do it straight here from scratch so i'm just going to change my table name from here i'm going to change my table name to student all right so let's go ahead and click okay so as you can see it has changed the table name over here now another way to also change the table name is also to go to the left hand side of the screen you can see all access objects now since the table is an object it's going to list 
them under this section so another way to change the table name is to come to this side the left hand side of your screen or under all access objects and then you click on student right click on student and then when you see this pop-up menu you go ahead and look for rename so i hope you are all following you can click on rename and you see that, that it tells you you can't rename the database object student whilst it is open so you have to close the table before you can rename it all right so let's go ahead and close the table there are two ways to close the table you can close it here over here you can see here or you can just come to table here and then close it all right so you, when you close your table you you can see from the left hand side that it is under the all access objects so now if you want to locate your table and you want to open it easily you can just double click on students and it will come back for you all right the next thing we want to do is um let's say you want to change your student or you want to change the name of the table as i said earlier you can just come straight here right click here and then you can rename it but before you do that you have to close the table first so let's go ahead and close the table so you go here and then you go to rename and it is asking you to rename your so you can rename it to students or you can say employee data so as you can see it has changed the name over here so let's go ahead and open our table as you can see it has changed the name here all right so in our next video we are going to be creating another table and we are going to find ways to link our tables that is we are going to relate two tables together thank you for watching the video and i hope i see you in the next video